Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of 3D geometry, which consists of the concepts of lines and planes. And the question tells us here from this topic, to find the shortest distance between the lines, one line is given to us as x minus five over one, which is equal to y minus two over two, and the third it's given z minus four over minus. Three. So one is this line, and the other line in the three D plane is x plus three over one, y plus five over four, and z minus one over minus. Four. So we need to find the distance between shortest distance between these two lines. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us, they are 7 root 3, 5 root 3, 4 root 3, and the last option 6. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's try to solve this question first. So if I see, I know that whenever this line equations are given, I can compare it with my general form that is x minus x1. So you have x minus x1 over a, y minus y1 over b, and z minus z1 over c. So from here you get your vector x1, y1, z1. So let's say from the line 1, if I compare it, my vector a1 or the line 1, it is 5, 2, and 4. So it becomes 5i plus 2j plus 4k. And vector r1, that is your denominators, a, b, and c, it becomes i plus 2j and minus 3k. So i plus 2j minus 3k. This is for line 1. And for line 2, we know the vector a2 and r2. They are a2, if I see it is plus 3, so minus of minus 3. So it becomes minus 3i because you have it in the form of x minus x form on this. Here it is plus 5, so I can write y plus 5 as y minus of minus 5. So you get the other one minus 5j and z minus z1. So that is 1. So you get plus k. So minus 3i minus 5j plus k and the vector r2 bar if I see the denominators it is i plus 4j minus 5k. So you get i plus 4j minus 5k. So you have the two line equations from there you get a1 r1 and a2. Now once you have that you know that the shortest distance between the two lines it is given by the formula that says mod of numerator has cross product of the vectors r1 and r2 with a dot product of another bracket that says difference between two vectors a and 2, a1 and a2. And the denominator has mod of that same cross product. So first of all, let's find the cross product of r2. So I know whenever I have to find the cross product of the two vectors, it is given by determinant of i, j, k. Coefficients of r1, that is 1, 2, minus 3. And coefficients of r2, that is 1, 4, and minus 5. So if I solve it further, I get i minus 10 minus minus 2. Minus j, you get minus 5 minus minus 3 into 1, which is minus 3, plus k, 1 into 4, 4 minus 2. So you get 12 minus 10, 2i, minus j, minus 5 plus 3, so minus 2, so minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2j, plus 2k. So you have 2i plus 2j plus 2k as your r1 cross r2, that is cross product of the two vectors. Now, if I also find the mod of that same cross product, it is nothing but root of 
2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square. So a square plus b square plus c square. So, plus square plus 2 square plus 2 square. so that is root of 4 plus 4 plus 4. That is root of 12. Root of 12 I write as 4 into 3 and that gives you 2. So you have the mod of cross product as well. Now if I just find the difference between the two vectors a1 and a2. That basically makes them. So a a1. 5i plus 2j plus 4k minus a2 minus 3i minus 5j plus k. Now if I further solve it, you get 5i minus minus 3i. So 5i plus 3i, which is 8i, 2 minus minus 5. So 2 plus 5 is 7 and 4 minus one so plus three. So you have this entire thing as your difference between the two vectors a1 and a2. Now if I talk for the numerator, it was cross product of r vectors with a dot product of the numerators. So if I first find the numerator part, you get that as dot product of 2i plus 2j plus 2k. And the difference between the two a vectors, which is 8, 7, and 3. So 8i, 7j, and 3. So you have the dot product of them. Now, if you have the dot product, you just multiply the coefficients of i, j, and k. So 2 into 8, which is 16, 2 into 7, which is 14, and 2 into 3, which is 6. From there, you get 36 as your answer. And once you know that, you find the shortest distance between two lines, which is given by all of dot product. You got that is 36 divided by all of the cross product, which you got that as 2 root 3. So if I find the answer for the shortest distance, shortest distance is mod of 36 over 2 root 3. And if I cancel it, 2 ones, 2 18s. And 18 I can split as 6 into 3, which is 6 into 3 can be split as root 3 into root 3 over. So you get the answer for the shortest distance between two lines as 6 root 3. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve the question which asks for shortest distance between the two lines. So first of all, you compare that with the general form to get the vectors a1, a2, and r1, r. Once you get that, you just use the idea to find the shortest distance using the formula. Mod of cross product of r1 and r2 with the dot product of the difference between two vectors divided by in the denominator as mod of cross product. So I just found the cross product. I also found the mod of them by taking root of coefficients squares and I also found the difference between a1 and a2 that gave me a dot plus seven j plus three. Then I just use the dot product idea to find the numerator and put that in the numerator and the denominator which I have got. Find my shortest distance as six three and that matches my option D. So D becomes the correct answer. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other questions from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well. And do subscribe to my channel. And share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on an everyday basis. Thank you.